Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and as you can see today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual because I'm doing an unboxing oh yeah, let's keep this quick and simple right now I'm just gonna unbox it show what's inside but you probably already know because of the title and you definitely already know not gonna lie I'm very excited for this alrighty here we let's get the knife off of this Oh, here it is. Here's the phone. Okay. Here's the. Here's a case for the phone. Some basic paperwork, instructions, all of that. And underneath we have. A wall adapter and the USB cable. So here it is. All that came in the package. Well, besides the wall adapter plug and the pen. <laughs> oh my god, let's do this. Wow. It's heavy. too happy for this <laughs> wow so here it is the Xiaomi 14 and the first thing you're gonna notice about this phone is that it's very minimalistic with very simple straight edges and simple curves almost iPhone like in its appearance besides the massive dynamic island as they call it on the iPhones and yeah the only notable features are the selfie camera the two buttons on the right of the phone those being the power button and the volume rocker on the bottom of the phone we can find the um, SIM tray the USB-C port and the bottom loudspeaker and on the top even though you can't see it very easily we have up there the top speaker and the proximity sensor some other sensors this phone has and on the back we can find the massive absolutely humongous camera bump and the Xiaomi logo very stylized I like how it looks and now let's address the elephant in the room and by that I mean Hyper OS it is the new ROM launcher kind of thing built on top of Android 14 for this first version and yeah it's gonna be gradually replacing MIUI and after about a week of regular use I can say that I love it it's very customizable and that's something i highly appreciate uh, the first thing you're gonna notice is the massive folders in which you can access the individual apps just like that instead of having to open the folder but yeah you can do that too then i added an app trick which didn't come enabled by default and the and a widget tab and speaking of the widgets you can download a user made widgets which sadly are mostly in Chinese but yeah you have some very interesting ones like the Leica ones that simulate different focal lengths and camera settings and yeah I was having a quick look at the settings app and there's 
barely anything worthy of noting here. Yeah, it's very customizable as I've said before. But yeah, the most interesting thing to be found in here is in the system info tab, or as Xiaomi likes to call it, my device. And besides the system name, uh, literally nothing else in here is a joke. This phone features a Snapdragon 8 generation 3 processor with 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of inbuilt storage. That's way too much for literally any piece of software you might be able to download in here. Its battery capacity is alright, it's neither too much nor too little, it will last you for the entire day, even considering kind of heavy use with some games and things like that. And yeah, the, the screen, you may not be able to appreciate it, but it looks really nice. And yeah, you can also see the camera specs in there, and we're gonna have a very deep and detailed look at it. And having said all of that, let's now start testing this device. The first two tests are simply two benchmarks I've already run, and those are the Geekbench 6 CPU test. Um, there's some info in here you might be more inclined to understand than me. This is a simple comparison for the rest of us mortals. Same for the multi-core scores. And the second one would be the GPU test, which focuses more on graphical performance. And yeah, it's pretty insane, as you can see. This test measures how long it takes the phone to compress something and in this case that something is this one gig folder so let's start the test now and there it is it didn't take very long i'll go ahead and conclude this segment with the gaming test it consists of a three and a quarter hour long gaming session with which I wanted to check out how much would the phone heat up and if it would slow down significantly. And with all that being said, I'll let you enjoy the rest of this segment. start with the camera test, shall we?
so I'm here by the river to do the first camera test there's some water birds fighting for a piece of bread that someone has tossed all the way across now let's be careful here and that's the old charismatic bridge and the new criminally ugly one Here I am by the lemon tree, like s'mores, but unlike him, oh, can grab it. Ah. I do use lemons. There we go. This is a test of the OIS. It seems pretty stable so far. I decided to go up there to record some things with the zoom and things like that. But yeah, so far so good. So this is what the camera on the Xiaomi 14 looks like from a top mountain. The views are real nice, but one thing I noticed is that it doesn't change to the other cameras like the telephoto on the wide angle when you zoom in and out. So you have to stop the recording and switch manually, and that's something they should change. Having said that, if they manage to pull that out, the telephoto looks stunning. And it zooms in real good, like that's Valencia, that's like 40 kilometers up north, 35, 40 kilometers up north. Uh, then we have this little coastal mountain, once again, looks nice, with a little castle and the massive apartment blocks. And then we have the island of Ibiza, right there just barely visible over the horizon and I can say the exact same thing for the wide-angle camera I won't zoom in with this one since it completely defeats the purpose of it but yeah everything looks nice and crisp I hope the wind doesn't pick up the wind that much I also want to say that it's had rather good internet connection all the way up and down. It stayed connected to 4G, which is kind of surprising considering that this phone is missing one of the 4G bands we use here in Europe, especially the one we use for rural areas. And yeah, it's done an amazing job. I'm happy with it. And now the only thing left to do is to share my opinion. This phone is everything a modern flagship should be. It's powerful, it's elegant, it has a nice camera, its battery does rather well. And yeah, it's not freakishly huge nor criminally ugly. But please bring back the headphone jack. <laughs>